everyone welcome back to our youtube channel agri addict this is our youtube lecture series on ibps a4 mains exam which is also useful for all the other agricultural exams i'm your mentor spurti who have completed my bsc hons agriculture from university of agriculture sciences bangalore sub campus vc form mandya and currently i am pursuing my masters at ika iv ranchi under the department genetics and plant breeding i have secured all india rank 6th in my ika pg exam in the year 2023 2024 in the subject plant sciences today i am here with part 2 video on recent agriculture schemes as you all know that we are discussing various other schemes that are helpful in the field of agriculture till now we have discussed in total 17 schemes in our part 1 video if you guys haven't watched that video i highly recommend you to watch that video so that you won't miss out any of the scheme that is related to agriculture so let us begin our today's video with the first and foremost important scheme that is parampagrata krishi vikas yojana where this scheme was launched in the year 2015 as an extended component of soil health management which which comes under the centrally sponsored scheme that is national mission on sustainable agriculture if we have to look at the aim of the scheme it majorly supports and promote organic farming which will be in return helping in rejuvenating the soil health The, if we see the funding pattern under the scheme is in the ratio of 60 to 40 by both central as well as the state government the scheme majorly aims at bringing about 10000 clusters of 20 hectares area that is one cluster will be of 20 hectare like that 10000 clusters will be formed where they are majorly promoting organic farming in those clusters if we have to see the objectives as i said that they majorly want to reduce the usage of chemicals and pesticides in agriculture by promoting organic farming or the sustainable farming which will be ultimately resulting in the improvement of the soil health and they also majorly aims at bringing one minimum clusters in every village the advantage or the benefit of the scheme is by supporting and promoting organic farming they are aiming at improving the soil health next the second scheme is sub mission on agriculture mechanization where this scheme was launched on april 2014 where this scheme majorly aims at improving or seeing the growth of agricultural mechanization in india that is they will be providing facilities for both small as well as the marginal farmers to take the machineries for higher purpose so that they can use those machineries in their field that is they will be launching custom hiring centers where in those centers all the different equipments will be available for the farmers who cannot afford them for buying on their own so that it will be helping in building the capacity of the farmers and they can they they can use various other machineries in their field also they majorly achieve this aim by creating awareness among the farmers and also demonstrating the usage of different implements in their farm and under this scheme they are also uh, creating awareness about the advantages of drone technology in farmers that is how drones can be used for applying various pesticides nutrition in the field next coming to third scheme that is crop residue management this scheme was launched from 2018 to 19 in punjab haryana uttar pradesh and delhi it majorly aims at protecting the overall environment from air pollution and preventing the loss of nutrients and microflora in soil that is uh, usually farmers after the harvesting of crop they will go for burning the residue this will be hampering the soil health and reduces the soil microflora and in return it will also cause air pollution this aim this scheme majorly aim to reduce all this losses that is they'll create awareness and they educate the farmers about how to manage and utilize the residues that are left behind after harvesting the crop and this crm that is crop residue management is now merged with the previously mentioned scheme that is sub mission on agriculture mechanization both the schemes are working together that is they are providing custom hiring centers that is machineries to farmers and also they creating awareness about how to manage the residues 
next the scheme is agro forestry where this scheme in 2020 2023 and 2024 it was reconstructed as an agro forestry component under rashtriya krishi vikas yojana where it majorly focuses on providing quality planting material that is they will be providing good quality materials for the farmers in order to promote the planting of forestry species that is they will also help to set up new small medium or even high tech nurseries for providing quality planting materials by providing the monetary support see if here we can see the objectives that is majorly to encourage and expand the tree plantation along with the crop production as well as the livestock so that it will be helping the farmers to get additional income employment opportunities will be created and also overall livelihood of the rural households will be increased this is achieved by promote providing the farmers with the good quality planting material that is seeds seedlings clones hybrids improved varieties so that farmers can utilize them uh, utilize them and they can grow go for the agroforestry next coming to national food security mission this is also an centrally sponsored mission where it was launched in the year 2007 and it is based upon the recommendation of national development council where this majorly aims at increasing the production of important food crops that is rice wheat pulses core cereals that is maize and barley and recently nutri cereals after the announcement of international year of millets in the year 2020 2023 the government is majorly aiming at increasing the production of the nutri cereals that is millets and still now 25 seed hubs have been established under this national food security mission in order to improve and increase the growth of the cereals next coming to sub mission on seed and planting material as i mentioned earlier there are various schemes which are planning on providing good seed and planting material to the farmers because it is the basic input that is helping the farmers this scheme was launched under a centrally sponsored scheme that is umbrella scheme which is called as umbrella scheme that is green revolution krishonati yojana it is an umbrella scheme that is it is a main scheme under which 11 different sub scheme sub schemes are working and this green revolution scheme it was implemented in the year 2016 and 17 where under which 11 sub schemes or machines are working this submission on seed and planting material aims at increasing the production of the farmers by providing the good quality seeds next coming to national mission on edible oils that is oil palm this is an mission which uh, which is an centrally sponsored scheme which was launched in india in the year 2001 in order 2021 in order to promote oil palm cultivation in the especially in northeastern states and also andaman nicobar islands the major goal is to increase the oil production and availability in india by increasing the area of cultivation of oil palm and other than that it also provides improved technologies to the farmers providing quality planting materials and providing farm implements machineries and other components that are required for the growing and also it supports nutrient and pest management practices next coming to mission for integrated development of horticulture this is the scheme which solely focuses on horticultural sector that is it covers fruits vegetables roots and tuber crops mushrooms spices flowers aromatic plants coconut cashew cocoa and also bamboo where this scheme was launched under ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare in the year 2014 till 14 and 15 and this scheme also comes under an umbrella scheme that is green revolution that is krishonati yojana and the major advantages that are uh, the major achievements that was observed under this scheme is that till now there is an highest production that is seen in the horticulture that is 320.77 million tons in the year 2019 20 and the area of cultivation of horticultural crops are also increased by uh, increased by 9% in the year uh, from 2014 till 20 and production has increased by 14% next scheme is national bamboo mission this national bamboo mission was approved by cabinet committee on economic affairs and it was launched on 25th 
April 2018 which majorly focuses on com developing the complete value chain of bamboo sector. This scheme majorly aims at increasing the area of cultivation of the bamboo and also they provide the improved post harvest management practices with respect to bamboo cultivation they provide uh, they provide good marketing facilities to the farmers so that they get good demand and also they will they are planning to originate underdeveloped bamboo industry this all will be done by promoting skill development capacity building awareness generation for the farmers with respect to bamboo cultivation next coming to integrated scheme for agriculture marketing this was proposed under the department of agriculture and cooperation as a scheme which majorly focuses on creating uh, creating marketing facilities or the marketing infrastructures for the farmers because ultimately marketing of the produce is very important to achieve the profit so this scheme majorly aims at creating a complete chain from farmers till the market so that farmers can easily sell their produce and also they are creating scientific storage capacities to the farmers so that farmers own face post harvest losses so that uh, they will be achieving whatever the profit they have to get and also they are promoting awareness and also they are increasing the private investment to set up agri business projects next coming to mission organic value chain development for northeastern regions it is also a centrally sector central sector scheme where majorly it aims at promoting organic agriculture or organic farming in the northeastern regions which includes arunachal pradesh assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland sikkim and tripura and till now they have launched about 379 fpos under this scheme if we see if we have to see the objectives it majorly as i mentioned they are planning to replace the conventional farming by organic farming as well as self sustainable farming by creating awareness among the farmers by explaining them about the advantages to themselves as well as the environment and they are also giving end to end facilities that is right from the inputs till marketing of the produce so that farmers will be adopting more and more organic farming then coming to submission on agriculture extension submission on agriculture extension is a component of national mission on agriculture extension and technology where this scheme majorly aims at strengthening the extension system in the agriculture extension system plays a very important role where they transfer the technologies from the research lab to the agri uh, to the farmers field they act as a agent between the scientist as well as the farmers under this scheme they are majorly promoting and uh, disseminating the technologies to the farmers at the district level and also they are encouraging multi agency extension strategies and they are creating the groups in order to Uh, disseminate the technologies that are developed and also they are concerning about mobilizing women in agriculture that is they are promoting to incorporate like women in the agriculture next under this extension scheme there are various digital initiatives have been taken up under the name vistara where it majorly focuses on improving the agriculture extension and also apurva apurva ai where it is an artificial intelligence technology which is helpful in capturing farmers innovations and also there is vadavani where it is a news uh, channel like thing where they are providing 24 into 7 the real time news and also kisan call center is there where they are providing direct uh, direct contact facilities with the agricultural experts and also rave programs are conducted for agri students so that they will be disseminating knowledge what they know to the farmers and also imd that is there is an providing provision for the weather forecast and also there is nrlm where it is the unit where it is looking after the vistara unit under the scheme next coming to digital agriculture the union cabinet committee which which is chaired by prime minister narendra modi approved digital agriculture marketing in the year 2020 2024 on september 2 in order to majorly provide support for all the it that is information technology based innovations in agriculture 
where this digital agriculture machine acts as an umbrella scheme in order to support various uh, various technologies that are developed in the recent times using information technology as well as artificial intelligence where it provides the national e-governance plan in agriculture that is they are planning to create an e-commerce e platform where farmers are accessible to information regards to regards to input till marketing facilities that is right from the input like they, they they'll get information about the various uh, in, uh, like seeds companies as well as they are getting information about improved technology improved varieties with respect to their specific crop till the market facilities that is how they can sell their produce in the market in order to get good eat good profit these are the total 27 schemes that are launched in the field of agriculture after 2015 till which are working till today and these are the schemes which are very important that has to be remembered both for ibps mains exam as well as any other agriculture exams you are facing and remember the date which it is launched and which department which ministry it is looking after and what are the important aims and objectives that comes under those particular schemes and at last, I would like to share some information about our platform that is Agri, -Agri, Agri Addict, which is providing various online courses. That is, there is a Vijeta batch, which is majorly focusing on providing information as well as the uh, 50 plus mock test and previous year questions with solutions on IBPS A4 mains exam. And also there is Sarvata batch, which is majorly focusing on ICAR PhD exam. Sarvashreshta batch which is focusing on ASRB net, Shreshtata batch that is focusing on PG exam for 2025 and Samartha batch which is also focusing on ICA PG exam which is for 2026 which is a foundation batch. Until now I have discussed 27 schemes which are, which are recently launched after 2050. If you have any kind of doubt feel free to post it in the comment section down below. I look look into all your comments and I'll try to answer everything. And these are the schemes that you have to focus while facing any agriculture scheme. For more such important topics with respect to IBPS mains exam, follow agri channels which will, where they will be posting every day one video with respect to I, uh, IBPS A4 mains exam. Thank you.